Let's take a quick look at the new release from Oris. This is the Diver 65 date model. Big thanks to Richard over at Saltzman's and the entire crew there for sending this over so I can check it out so you guys get a, go, a good look at it as well. The Diver 65, I don't really show on the channel a ton. It's a little bit smaller than my preference, but I have to say it's it's good to have it on the channel because there's a lot of people out there that prefer this size and it just works on smaller wrist or if you just prefer a smaller diver, it's literally hard to beat this actual watch. And then there's some really cool colorways. Look at the thinness of that mid case. I mean, let's cover the dimensions because they are near perfect for a lot of people. So the case itself is 38 millimeter. The bezel is 39. You can see it just half mil on each side. The lug to lug is a short 46.4 and you can see there's no extension from this excellent bracelet. We're gonna cover the bracelet here in a minute, but you can see it articulates right away. So what the dimensions are is how it's going to wear on wrist for sure. The thickness or thinness rather is only 12.4 and you can see that crystal, that sapphire crystal protrudes up a little bit. So if you were to not count the crystal, which you know sometimes you can kind of do that because the way it's inboard and sloped and everything, it doesn't really add to the feel of the thickness uh, on wrist. So this is a insanely thin watch. The lug opening here, kind of weird. I measure um, 19 millimeter. So I think it's 19 mil, but then it tapers down to 14. That's a dramatic taper, really nicely done. Pretty uh, standard clasp here we have Five micro adjust, but it's the old school style double pusher, easy to use clasp. And then you have a riveted bracelet. And then you have, uh, I don't see any half length. Well, I guess there is a half length. There you go. So you'll be able to get a good sizing on this thing. And then you have an oversized signed seven millimeter screw down crown, keeping the 200 meter water resist on this. The other highlight of this watch and dive watches should absolutely have this feature. A good bezel. So this has a ceramic bezel insert, but the bezel action on it. Is what you would hope for, what you would expect at this price point. These are $2,700. So they're not inexpensive, but they are under that $3,000 price point. Basically a luxury watch. It's really competing with a lot of other watches. So you have a mineral display case back showing off the automatic movement, their classic red toned rotor. This is what they call the Oris 733-1 movement. It should be a Salita SW200, 26 joules, 41 hour power reserve, and runs at 4 hertz. It is nice that they give you the display though. Quick release spring bars. There are really good strap options also for this watch. I could imagine this particular dial color paired up with a really nice rich brown leather strap would look amazing. Um, but the bracelet is really one of the highlights of the watch. So you're probably going to wear it on bracelet if I had a guess. That Speaking of that color, this is pretty spot on what I'm seeing in the display here. So you have a really high grade finishing on those applied markers as well as the handset date at the six o'clock to keep the balance of the dial it's kind of like an off-white or a putty with a little bit more tan or warm tone to it it's not gray it's a more of a cream color and it is just it really really suits the watch i think this is one of the best colors out there it's understated but timeless so let's pop it on my wrist so you can see what it looks like on my seven and a quarter inch wrist Absolutely could pull this off. No question in my mind. This is a good size for my wrist and definitely, I mean, look how short that lug to lug is. Like you could go all the way down to like a six inch wrist, no problem. So again, big thanks to the entire crew at Saltzman's Rhode Island. Tell them I sent you, I'll put direct contact information. I didn't see this actual watch on their website. So I'm just gonna put the link to their Oris lineup, but get a hold of Richard or whoever. The sales staff there is awesome and great to deal with. Um, and just tell them I sent you and tell them what you're looking for. So there is a look at the Loom, a nice application of BGW9, which gives the 
markers a really good white tone against that off-white dial. And then when the lights go out, it has a nice cool blue uh, color tone to it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next vid.